The Actor by Pablo Picasso is an oil on canvas painting circa 1904 to 1905. This piece of art is important because of the influence Pablo Picasso had on 20th century art, its representation of its transition from one period to another, and it recognizes the issue of who owns art. Pablo Picasso was a Spanish painter, sculptor, draughtsman, printmaker, decorative artist, a writer, and much more. Picasso dominated 20th century European art and was central in the development of the image of the modern artist. Pablo Ruiz Picasso was born on October 25, 1881 in Malaga, Spain to Jose Ruiz Blasco and Maria Picasso Lopez. At the age of 21, he began to use his mother's name exclusively both as a tribute to her and because the name was more unusual. Picasso's early studies were with his father, Jose Ruiz Blasco, and at the School of Art in Corona in Barcelona, to which cities his family had moved. In the following years, he lived in Madrid and then was moving restlessly between Spain and Paris, but it was in Paris where Picasso painted this piece. Simple yet haunting, the actor is the work with which Picasso ended his obsession with the wretched in favor for the theatrical world of acrobats and salt and box. Although the attenuated figure and extraordinary play of the hands recall the El Greco-inspired mannerism of the Blue Period, the actor can be seen as the prologue to the series of works that accumulates in the enormous canvas, Family of Sultan Box. Picasso's Blue Period took place between the years 1901 and 1904. He painted monochromatic paintings in shades of blue and blue-green, occasionally worn by other colors. His images seemed to reflect his experience of relative poverty and instability. His subjects were outcasts, depicting beggars, the old and the frail, and prostitutes. Since Picasso did not have a lot of money at the time, he painted the actor on the back of a previously used canvas that depicted a landscape painting with swirling waters by an unidentified artist. The Rose Period lasted from 1904 to 1906. Picasso would paint using cheerful orange and pink colors in contrast to the cool somber tones of the previous blue period. During this time, circus performers and clowns often appeared in his work. The fascination with images of Sontenbanks, harlequins, and clowns may be linked both to frequent visits to the Cirque Medrano and to an identification with such characters as alter egos. During these years, Picasso was happy in his relationship with Ferdinand Oliver who he had met in 1904 and could be a possible reason why he changed his style of painting. Picasso's friend, Frank Bertley Havland, the wealthy Franco-American painter, was the first owner of this work. It was first exhibited in the Sonderbund Show in Cologne in May 1912, to which it was lent by Paul Lefman, a German industrialist. Lefman sold it to Picasso's dealer, Paul Rosenberg, and longtime Picasso collector, Hugo Perels, in 1938. The automobile heiress, Thelma Chrysler Foy, gifted it to the Metropolitan Museum in 1952, where it has been ever since. On Friday, September 30, 2016, the Metropolitan Museum was sued for the return of a Pablo Picasso masterpiece sold under duress in 1938 because of Nazi and fascist persecution in Europe. The painting's original legal owner was Jewish industrialist Paul Lefman. His great-grandniece alleges that the painting was sold in 1938 as Lefman raised funds to flee persecution in fascist Italy after already escaping Nazi Germany. To raise the funds necessary to escape Italy as it heightened cooperation with the Nazi regime, the complaint states that the Lefmans were forced to sell the actor for $12,000, a price well below its actual value. Indeed, the complaint notes the figure was $6,000 less than what the work was requested to be insured for when it was lent to the Museum of Modern Art the next year. The Met noted that its research makes clear that the work was not sold due to Nazi persecution and that the $12,000 figure was a fair price. Quote, While the Met understands and sympathizes deeply with the losses that Paul and Alice Lefman endured during the Nazi era, it firmly believes that this painting was not among them. Unquote. The painting should remain in the Metropolitan Museum because of these points.